And Fox 5 Health News, our hypoallergenic products like makeup and lotions, all a big waste of time and money. A new study finds these allergen-free claims are really nothing more than a marketing ploy. Joining us now, Dr. Doris Day, clinical associate professor at NYU Medical Center. And Dr. Day, am I wasting my money buying all this hypoallergenic stuff to keep my you know, skin healthier? Well, I can promise you that having done a lot of product testing over the years, mm -hmm. nobody puts a product out and says, I want to make a really allergenic product. Right. So <laughs> every true. product is tested to be relatively hypoallergenic. Now, to make those claims, there really is no regulation on what hypoallergenic means uh -huh. in a product. It's kind of like natural food. Lots of things are natural that aren't good for you, and to make that claim doesn't mean a whole lot. So with hypoallergenic, they make the claim because they say they leave out a lot of ingredients that some people may be more prone to being mm -hmm. allergic to, but generally it really doesn't have great value. If you are allergic to a product, you need to know that and you need to avoid that ingredient mm -hmm. or that product. And if you get patch testing, you can know exactly what that ingredient is, what product it's in, and then you avoid those things. You don't necessarily need hypoallergenic. If you're not sure and you haven't seen a doctor yet, you could put a little bit on the inside of your forearm because mm -hmm. this area is not very sensitive. So if you react here, there's a greater chance that you're oh, gotcha. allergic okay. rather than just sensitive because right, so there's two different things. So don't put too much faith in these terms you see on the label. And regardless. listen to your skin. If your skin doesn't like something, yeah. you could be irritated by it or allergic to it. There's two different and they can look very very similar. So you can do a little test on your arm, you can see a dermatologist, and they can help you do further tests. Gotcha. All right, so here's another one. Do you have trouble standing on one mm -hmm. leg at a time for more than a few seconds? According to a new study, there is a link here to your stroke risk? This is unbelievable. Stroke risk and dementia, which is memory loss. And what this study did was looked at over 800 women and 500 men, asked them to stand on a leg with their eyes open for 20 seconds. They did it again, they repeated the test, and they had a brain scan as well. And they looked at people who had trouble balancing and found out that they had a light, higher likelihood of having had mini or silent strokes. Wow. So if you have a little stroke, you might have some brain injury, but you might not have any changes at any anybody else can identify, mm -hmm. but you may have some loss of balance, and that may put you at a greater risk of having either a bigger stroke or an accumulation of those smaller strokes that can add up to permanent memory loss and further uh, damage Incredible. to the wow. body. Incredible, wow. That's something yeah. a lot of us probably would never try to do, so you would never know. So good idea, go and see what, you can and stand on one leg for 20 seconds. 20 seconds with their eyes open, yeah. and then they also had the men. Now, this isn't that easy. I actually tried this today. Yeah. You have to stand up and sit down, and the men would stand up and sit down 37 times in a minute, uh -huh. and the women 35 times up and down in a minute. Okay. And those who could do that also had a, if, if they could do that, they were tended to be like greater chance of living shape, longer yeah. and better shape. So that makes sense. We're going to try this. that easy, I have to say. This, the standing that. on one leg 20 seconds is not that hard. Okay, um, the other one, 35 yeah, or 37. 35 is, that's a, minute, a little bit more to ask. Hard. Dr. Day, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much.